close. Oh shit. Hello everybody. This is Mike and I 12 and I'm doing uh, anime tag q and A. I I was tagged by my um, Papa Birdo and of course my two good friends B-Lit and Kama Show. And Papa Birdo's my friend too but he was, he was actually the first person who tagged me. And I blatantly ignored that, and then Billy and Conway show tied me, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll get to it, and I'm finally getting to it, because I'm not, not doing anything, I'm bored as fuck. And yeah. So, let's get started with this Q&A thing. So let me look at the questions. How long have you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube, I guess, what is it, a year? something like that, I guess a year, something like that, uh, I've had my YouTube for the fucking longest time, though, I've had my YouTube since 2007, and it's 2015 now, so it's fucking, it's fucking funny, uh, I did make really cringeworthy videos, and I was a really, when I was a youngster, back in, what, 2008, 9, something like that, those were fucking cringeworthy, and I deleted those, those are non-existent now, those will never be seen again, ever. But other than that, I've been doing YouTube for like about a year. Why did I start making videos? Well, I always thought the idea of making YouTube videos was just so fucking cool. Like, I don't know, just, I guess it's the idea of uploading videos, of you playing some games and having fun, shit like that talking about stuff, you know, et cetera, et cetera, whatever, whatever you like to do, I always thought it was cool just to upload videos and just kind of just do it, I always thought the idea was great, and I finally got into it, so, the reason why is just because it's just fun, it looks fun, and it is fun, <laughs> okay, so let's get into the anime questions, so that's the fourth one. What's your favorite anime genre? I would say... Definitely a close tie between... Like, action, like, shonen anime. And then, like, kind of mystery anime. Like, super mystery slash supernatural. I would say more mystery than anything. I guess. The reason why I would say a close tie is because... Excuse me. I would say it's a close tie because most of my favorite anime were are shonen, of course. That's how I got into anime. DBZ, Naruto, all that. Um, but I would say my my other favorites tend to be like mystery, kind of like a Death Note. And uh, <laughs> this is funny. Actually, I think Persona for the animation, you know, based on the game, I think that's really good too. I find that really fascinating because it was like a mystery. So, yeah. So yeah, I would say Shonen and mystery, action and history, history, mystery. Fuck, can't talk. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so what's this? So that was four, five. What is your most unfamiliar genre? My most unfamiliar genre would have to be some fucking weird ass shoujo type shit that I never watched ever, like, you know, like, um, but I can't even think of a fucking name, like, Sojo and, like, some weird crying fucking, I don't know, like, it's just weird ass shit, like, I, I would just say Sojo or some fucking gay shit like that, I don't know. no offense to, no offense, I didn't mean to say that, <laughs> just some weird ass shit, man, um, What's one thing that persuades you to keep watching anime after episode one? Which is a sixth question. What persuades me to watch an anime after episode one? I guess it's just a feel. Like, I gotta feel it. Like, like when I first watched Hunter x Hunter, dude, I felt that shit, man. Like, I just felt the presence of that anime. Like, I knew something was gonna be good. Something was good. And it's the same thing than the anime I watched all the way through. Death Note, fucking fantastic first episode. 
Attack on Titan, Attack, uh, Attack on Titan, fantastic first episode. Uh, and the list goes on. Like, Nar even Naruto, you know, part one Naruto, fantastic first episode. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. So, yeah, definitely just the feel of the anime, like, the characters, all that stuff is something to keep watching after the first episode. So, the seventh question. <clears throat> Who is your favorite Japanese or English voice actor? I don't know if it's supposed to be or and, I don't fucking remember. Um, English voice actors. Uh, my favorite English voice actor had to be either Johnny Young Bosch or Yuri Laurenthal. Those two are amazing voice actors. Um, Japanese. I don't fucking know. I don't know any. Japanese name, so I'm just gonna say the guy. The guy who does Kiwa. Or girl, could be, I think it's a girl actually, who the fuck knows. The girl does Kiwa, guy or girl, guy slash girl, whatever, who does Kiwa, does an amazing job as Kiwa. Most likely does other people I don't know about. Um. I guess Sasuke's voice actor, his Japanese voice actor is really good too. Uh, so yeah, the yeah, those two. Um, my favorite anime soundtrack number eight. That is so hard. It's not even funny. I I used to live, actually still do live. I just live for soundtracks in general. I swear I do, cause like I just listen to them a lot. So it's really hard for me to say what's my favorite anime one. But I would have to say, probably one of my favorite anime soundtracks of all time would have to be Part 1 Naruto's. I like all the songs in Part 1 Naruto, all the OSTs, man. All really good, in my opinion. All really good. So, what anime song are you addicted to? I don't know why it took that long ass pause, it's weird. But anyway, what song am I addicted to? What anime song? Would have to say probably um, It's hard. It's so hard to. Um Damn, it's so hard. I guess Naruto opening two, dude. That shit, I was, I was like fucking like. I don't know. I used to jam to that shit. <laughs> so I guess that, and then um, the Tokyo Ghoul opening one is really good. Um, of course JoJo, yeah, that shit's good. <laughs> I don't even watch JoJo like that, but the fucking opening's badass. The song's badass. Um, and. I'm trying to think of at least another one. Dude, I want to say like Persona, but that's not really an anime. It's a game. So I, I guess I'll leave it out. <laughs> so I would say that I'll just leave it at those three. Did Naruto opening two, Tokyo Ghoul, the first Tokyo Ghoul's opening, and then uh, JoJo, I guess. Okay, next question. Do you like to buy anime merchandise? If so, what do we collect? I do not collect shit, <laughs> and I do not buy anime merchandise, I can just watch anime for free on fucking kissanime.com, so I don't buy shit at all, so, yeah, uh, but I will say this, I do have some manga, I have some Death Note manga that I had. A long time ago, my father bought them, and I read them. I used to have Zatch Bell manga too, but that shit is non-existent now. I don't know where it is at all. So there you go. I have some Death Note manga, but I don't. I don't collect anything at all. Just not me. I don't really collect anime. I don't know. Just don't do it. Okay. What is your guilty pleasure anime? <clears throat> my guilty pleasure anime. To be honest, I don't fucking know. I don't even like all the anime I watch. I don't seem 
to have a problem with at all, to be honest. They're all okay. I mean, I used to watch Fairy Tale, and a lot of people would say that shit's bad, I don't know. It's actually 50 50. I mean, it's the same with Naruto, though, so maybe. Who knows, maybe I could just fucking say Naruto she put in. Because I actually liked it for the most part. I mean, it wasn't bad up until the war arc, to be honest. Even though, but yeah, I even watched the war arc, I read it. We all did. Come on now. <laughs> and that shit was bad, but we read it. So I guess I could say that. I mean, I don't know. So I don't really don't know. <laughs> I guess that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna like just go ahead and say that I guess. To the next question, what anime made you cry? There's a few. I'll be honest, man. There's a few. <sighs> Naruto, part one. I don't know. I don't remember. She put that making me cry at all. But part one definitely made me cry when Haku and Zabuza died. I definitely cried. Actually, no, she put in did make me cry once when freaking Hinata almost fucking died by pain and Hinata told Naruto she loved him I'll admit I fucking cried a little bit and I was like oh shit yo so that made me cry Hunter x Hunter actually not just Hunter 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 made me cry for fucking sure don't wanna spoil anything just Certain moments in Hunter x Hunter made me cry. Um, reason why, you know, I said all the Naruto stuff, but I didn't say Hunter x Hunter stuff because people fucking watched Naruto. Not a lot of people watched Hunter x Hunter still, surprisingly. So, that's the reason why I'll just say it. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but, a lot of moments made me cry. And that too. And most made me cry. That's all I can think of. <laughs> That's all I can really think of. What is your favorite food to eat when you're having an anime marathon? I used to marathon the shit out of Naruto a while back, so... I don't know, dude. Any, anything, to be honest. Anything that, um... Whatever I'm in a fucking mood for. I usually just like eating... Like, when I'm watching something, I feel like I have, I have to have something to drink. Like, anything. Water, juice... Freaking, what's it? I have something right here. Freaking a little smoothie from Wawa. Look, look, Wawa. Wawa, boys. Look at that. I don't even think you can, I don't even think you can see it. Whatever. Ah, oh, that was good. <laughs> but yeah, just anything. I used to have, like, having something to drink and eating. Maybe some chips, some kind of candy, like M&M's, some shit like that. And last question, what anime are you currently watching right now? I'm actually watching no fucking anime right now. I haven't watched anime in like a month or two. Last anime I remember watching that was like new-ish was Tokyo Ghoul Route A. And I was on the last two episodes and I just never watched them. For some goddamn reason. So as of right now, I'm not watching shit. I'm rewatching stuff. I'm rewatching Teen Titans, even though it's not a fucking anime. I thought about rewatching Naruto Part One. Um, that's all I can think of. Um, yeah, so I'm not watching anything right now. I'm not watching any type of anime not at all. So, yeah. So, damn, that's it. That's that's it game over game over so thank you thank you three fine gentlemen for tagging me in this thank you Papa Brado thank you scumbag Beelit and scumbag Con Maestro <laughs> um now I gotta fucking tag somebody and this video is a little late I don't think anybody's fucking doing this anymore but hey whatever so I'm trying to think of someone to tag that hasn't done it. That w I would like to see do it. Now I gotta think real quick. <sighs> hmm. I gotta think now. Oh Christ. 
See, this is hard. This is hard because my boy Avatar already did it. Oh, I'll take Musashi. <laughs> um, I'll take Musashi and I'm trying to think of somebody else. Uh, I'll try to think at least one more person. Come on, brain. I know I can do it. Freaking Musashi and someone else. So I'll, I'll go through my Skype actually. I'm looking through my Skype. Can't say Bernard doesn't have a YouTube. Um, um, let's look. Let's look through here. <laughs> Why is it so dumb? Uh, oh, I got a few people now. Musashi. Um, Sage Mode Cupcake Alex. Uh, Toby, Toby's Mask, or Rayon, Spam, <laughs> I doubt he'll fucking do it, but I'll tag him anyway, Spam, uh, Sploosh, and, I don't know if Afro sent you ever did one, but if not, then him too, so, I'm gonna should have put them in the description. Oh, that was fucking people. So, yeah, that's it. So, that was my fucking anime shit tag, whatever. So, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed, and peace out. Bye-bye.